Lhasa Epsos are small lap dogs which are a favorite among most of us. These dogs usually are amiable, intelligent, and playful. But most importantly, they are very close to their owners. These furry canines can be from adorable companions to fierce protectors. And so, in this video, we have rounded up the top 10 facts that you need to know about the Lhasa Epsos. Petopedia. Talking about the origin names, Lhasa Apso is not the original origin name of the breed. It was called Apso Senki. Now, we speculate that the name was changed to Lhasa Apso because it was quite hard for us to pronounce. But the fun fact is that many Lhasa owners also don't know that the name Lhasa comes from its original place, Tibet's capital Lhasa. Even though we are somehow clear about the first part of the name, the second part of the name is not clear. But many assume that the name Apso is misspelled from the original name Apso. But apart from that, some Tibetan owners also claim that the word Apso is derived from the word Rapso, which means goat, as these dogs have goat-like features. As for the origin, you have already guessed it right that Lhasa Apsos are Tibetan dog breeds. However, many dog owners don't know that this dog breed is not a new breed. Instead, this dog breed is nearly 3,000 years old. But different documents and artifacts show that these dogs have a long back history, as early as 880. So, at that time, these breeds were bred exclusively in Buddhist monasteries and they were somewhat hidden from the rest of the world. Now, only a few other species, such as Afghan hounds, Akita Inu and Besenji can boast the same heritage as 3,000 years old. As we have told previously, Lhasa were only bred exclusively in Buddhist monasteries. They were kind of the best kept secret, and foreigners couldn't get their hands on one of these adorable dogs. One would only get their hand on one of these if a Dalai Lama gifted them. The Dalai Lama is basically the spiritual head of Tibetan Buddhism and only Chinese communists rule. They were the spiritual and temporal rulers of Tibet. So, there was a long tradition where Lhasa dogs were sent as gifts to the Chinese emperor and their families. The first Lhasa Apso pair that came to the USA in 1933 was also a gift from the Dalai Lama. They were gifted to a traveler C. Sweetem cutting. He was the noted world traveler and naturalist. So, that time he took those two gifted dogs and made them the foundation stock for his kennel. You might think Lhasa Apso is a small, adorable dog, but these brave watchdogs are keenly aware of their surroundings. In Buddhist monasteries, they would have the Lhasa inside, and at the same time, the outside was guarded by much more prominent and scarier dogs like Tibetan Mastiffs. Tibetan Mastiffs and Lhasa made great guardian couples of the monasteries as the Lhasa would alert their larger partners about the upcoming problems. This would allow the Mastiffs to remain lazy until they were needed. They are part of the Tibetan Buddhist belief in reincarnation, and so they believed that when a person dies, they reincarnate as different beings. In their fundamental beliefs, Buddhists believe that the soul never dies and they want to reach Nirvana, which means the Buddhist version of heaven. In Tibet, Lhasa Apsos is considered a sacred dog because they believe before the soul reincarnates back as a human, it's the final step to reincarnate as a Lhasa, so they would consider herding a Lhasa illegal. It was one of the reasons why a Lhasa was not available outside Tibet because they were not sure how Lhasas would be treated outside of Tibet. The Tibetans have an old saying that says, if the snow lion stays in the mountains, it is a snow lion. If it goes down to the valleys, it becomes a dog. And the snow lion is a celestial animal that has become Tibet's emblem. The mountain ranges of Tibet are symbolic of the region's snowy mountains while also symbolizing strength and power. However, the dog in the saying is none other than the Lhasa Apso. As a matter of fact, the name the Tibetans call the breed is translated to bearded lion dog. 
Even though dogs have a negative reputation for having a short lifespan, Lassas are known to have a healthy and long life. It's not uncommon for a Lassa to leave in its late teens. In fact, the Lassas are known to have a lifespan of 15 years. And the fun fact is, the oldest Lassa has lived for about 29 years old. Now, we're not insulting the Lassas as it's normal for some dog to have cat feet. And Lassas are one of them. So, what's the difference between cat feet and dog feet? A dog's breed that has cat feet means the paws are rounder and more compact than the regular dog feet, which are a bit longer. This compact doesn't do any harm to the breed. In fact, it provides extra support for the feet while doubling as an excellent shield against debris. Moreover, this type of foot also gives the Lassa Apso a better grip on slick or wet surfaces. Lassas are known because of their long, straight, dense coats. These coats come in many colors like honey, black, white, or slate. However, keeping the coat gorgeous in Lassa is time-consuming and difficult because they need daily brushing, combing, and bathing as frequently as two to four weeks. So, many owners hire professional groomers because even though a hardworking owner can groom his Lassa, it's certainly not the job of a beginner. In 2015, Morgan, a Lassa Apso, became the life-saving hero of his owner. Morgan lived with his owners, John and Mary. They were an elderly couple living in Liverpool, England. One day, John, aged 70, fell unconscious while gardening. Only Morgan, the Lassa Apso, noticed. Then he did what Lassas do best, bark and alert. For the next few minutes, Morgan barked like a mad dog in an attempt to get help. The barking didn't stop until someone arrived. Eventually, Mary noticed this and called an ambulance. She rushed John to the hospital. Mary acknowledges that if it hadn't been for Morgan, who knows how long she would have waited. Finally, Morgan was awarded the Bravery Award by PDSA and invited to the ceremony. So, these are the top 10 facts about Lhasa Apso. Comment down below which breed you want us to talk about next. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and share this video if you find it useful. Then, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.